A very common injury for runners is runner's knee. So let's look at what you can do to prevent it and what you can do to fix runner's knee. For a couple of years now, I've been struggling with runner's knee on and off. Uh, sometimes it acts up for just a couple of days. Sometimes it can last for weeks. Uh, right now I'm dealing with it because I overtrained and I made a wrong movement that triggered it. Uh, now what exactly is runner's knee? Runner's knee can be different things actually. Uh, it doesn't even really have to be a run injury. Uh, having an injury to your knee from overtraining is often just referred to as runner's knee. Most of the time it manifests itself in pain on the inside or the outside of the knee or just below or behind the meniscus. So as a runner, most likely when you feel pain in your knee is runner's knee. Now when Samuel L. Jackson shoots you in the knee. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? That's not runner's knee. So what can you do to fix it? Well, first of all, it might be a good idea to see a doctor or a physical therapist. Uh, they can tell you exactly what's wrong with it, what you should do, uh, and see how bad the injury actually is. Now, uh, what I do to help with my injury is the following. Uh, first of all, rest. It's the one thing that you really need right now. Uh, my knee is overtrained, I did too much too fast, and now my knee needs to rest. It doesn't mean that you can't do anything anymore, but when it hurts to run, don't run. Uh, maybe swimming or riding a bike could be a good alternative training. Uh, both have less pressure on your knee. Just try not to do anything that hurts your knee. <laughs> Mom, I'm in pain. <laughs> there are a lot of creams and ointments that you can use to help relieve the pain and help your muscles to heal. Uh, Tiger Balm, Magnesium Cream or Pain Relief Cream. Uh, these can help you uh, have a little bit more mobility and take the aches away a little bit. A strap or a brace can help to give your knee a little bit more support or keep you from moving your knee too much in the direction that would hurt your knee. Heat packs can help with the pain and can stimulate the blood flow. Uh, there are special heated knee wraps that you can get or heat stickers that you can stick on your knee. Or if you don't have those, you can use those, uh, those hand warmers and then uh, just wrap them around your knee in some bandages or a, a piece of cloth uh, just to keep your knee nice and warm and speed up the healing a little bit. Easy exercises for your knee will help you to make your knee stronger again. Uh, you have to be careful here not to hurt your knee, of course. Uh, your physical therapist could tell you exactly what exercises would be good for you to do. Now, some of the exercises that I do are easy squats, just not go too deep if that hurts. Uh, single leg squats when I can do them. Uh, laying on the ground with my feet on a towel and by pushing my butt into the air and slowly sliding my feet forward, you can really feel the tension in your legs and this makes your knee stronger. Uh, just make sure that the exercises are not painful to do. When you're sitting or laying down, it can help you to keep your knee elevated a little bit by putting a pillow under it. Now you might be able to run or work your way back to going out on your run, but make sure that you start slow and do an easy run. Right, you're gonna have to build up that distance again. Uh, for me, most times when I'm running, my knee doesn't even bother me, but it's afterwards that I feel it. So I start out with short runs and as long as I don't feel the pain afterwards, I can slowly build up the distance again. But when it starts hurting while you're running, that's a sign you should stop. So how can you prevent runner's knee? Don't move. Okay, not moving would help, but we still wanna go out on our runs. Uh, make sure that you have good running shoes. You need good support, especially uh, when you run on roads. It can be pretty tough on the joints, so having quality support is important. Something I've mentioned many times is strength training. Now, this doesn't mean bulking up in the gym till you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> But strength exercises that will make your muscles that you need for running stronger and will make the muscles that support those muscles stronger so that you can prevent injuries. Don't make drastic changes to your routine by adding crazy amounts of exercises. Slowly build this up and make sure that you don't overdo it. Uh, do a little bit of a warm up before you go out on your run, uh, especially if you're already struggling with runner's knee. Uh, doing a warm up can be a good indication if you're actually up for the run. If the warm-up already hurts, it might be a good idea to switch your run to just some light exercises instead. Make sure that you take care of your legs by listening to your body. Uh, if there are aches and pains, they're mostly there to signal you that there's something wrong or there's something in your shoe. So listen to your body and stay healthy. Uh, now don't forget to subscribe down below and until next time, get out there and run.